Well, I was asleep. It was like about 4.30 in the morning, 5 in the morning. Heard something fall in my room. But then, like, as soon as I turned on the light, there was like about three, maybe four inches of water inside the house. Once we saw everything, like, just getting damaged, we told my mom, like, you know, we should just leave, go to my aunt's house or something. Like, let, let just, let everything happen, what's gonna happen or whatever. So I realized it's been raining hard for, for a while for there to be water on the ground. And I was glad because we needed the rain. But the rain just kept coming, the water kept rising and rising and rising. I started to hope, okay, I hope it stops. On June the 20th, it started raining in the middle of the night. We had warnings of flash flood. Uh, we weren't expecting to have that much rain at one time. They were just predicting about five to six inches, but before we knew it, it had dropped over 15 inches of rain. And by morning, many of the residents started to see water coming into their homes. Uh, there were over 2,000 residents affected by the flooding. It just rose up to the door and uh, it started to come in. And then other locations, which I'm not sure where, but the water just kept coming. We tried to stop it with some carpets, with some clothes. You just realize that there's really nothing you, you, you can do. It just keeps on coming. And then you just watch the water rise. When we came back, man, I mean, we came to couches. They got all soaked with water. Our beds, I mean, most of the walls, ceiling came down, it's TVs, everything, everything got ruined. My niece, she gave me a call and said, look, there's a group offering assistance. And I said, say no more. And then when um, Samaritan Purse shows up, I just, hey, help is on the way. Help is on the way. Once we started seeing the excessive rainfall happening here in the West Laco area, and once we reached out to emergency management and found out some numbers, uh, we immediately began our deployment by sending a DR unit, that's a disaster relief unit, with tools and equipment along with a supply trailer and staff to assess the area. What we're doing here is we want to reach out to the community to show them Jesus, to give them hope and we're sending teams out with Samaritan's Purse to help go in and help clean out these homes, help them get back to a, a sense of normal life. And we do that by just going out being his hands and feet, no matter if it's cutting back sheetrock, no matter if it's just answering a phone call. During this time, we talk to them, we love on them, and we show them Jesus through all of this. What we're doing here today is we're, we're cleaning up their home. We're trying to you know, salvage as much as we can. We're trying to knock down sides from the walls and stuff like that, clean up, and uh, spraying some, some spray for mold. What we've been doing is just trying to clean up, clear up, so the homeowners can feel some relief, you know, just trying to <laughs> help as much as we can. At Samaritan's Purse, we, we want to love people in a tangible way, especially in disaster relief. So when people are in need physically, we want to provide that physical manpower to help to get them to a point where they can be uh, ready to rebuild. But this is all done because Christ loved us first and he has called us to love people. <laughs>